Love your morning paper. So before we get started on our morning papers, the first one you have to promise me you're not going to judge All right. the men involved in the story because I can already hear you. Uh, you. You may be surprised by my reaction to this. You really may. So the story is about how more men are taking their wives' last name. And more or less they're saying it's kind of anecdotal uh, research. It's not really as though the numbers are going up because it's hard to track something like that. But they profiled a guy who says it was almost impossible for him to actually... Putting the elephant over your head is the same as he does it. Okay, go Calling on. him a loser. Well, there's the guy. You can see him right there. He said it was a really uphill battle. He ended up having to pay $500 instead of $5. On top of that, he says he had to file paperwork, hire a lawyer, publicize the name for four consecutive weeks, even appear before a judge because a lot of people thought he was trying to evade creditors or maybe even a criminal history. Now, he says one of the reasons he chose to take his wife's last name, stop judging, I can see it in your eyes, uh, is because his wife was kind of an established musical uh, somebody, and he didn't want her to have to lose her last name. So yeah. his parents were upset, as you can imagine, but they're saying more and more men are following this trend, something for so my I, just, I don't mind about. the idea either, because my wife's last name is Hotman. Mm -hmm. I think that's a cooler name than mine. Jeremy Hotman. Jeremy Hotman. I don't know. It, it implies all really kinds. Of, it implies all kinds of things. So I'm not entirely against that idea. Well, doing this might lead one to think otherwise. <laughs> all right. Uh, so up in Maine, they've got this deal at the Black Frog Restaurant where if you get naked and jump in the lake, they'll give you a free sandwich. It's called the Skinny Dip Special. 